This video is brought to you by the Ecology Lab at the University of Waterloo's Faculty of Environment. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Magenta Bat 5 Bat Meter. This Bat Meter features um, the side dial to turn on the Bat Meter. Uh, this also is the volume of the Bat Meter, so you can turn it up by scrolling down and back down again. There's also a button here that turns on a flashlight, which is convenient when you're taking notes. It might not range fully to see the bats. Um, the bottom also has um, a socket where you can plug in a recording device and a socket for headphones, which will stop the speaker on the outside so you can listen in through headphones. And then you have your frequency dial, which changes the frequency on the screen. So this bat meter will convert the high frequency ultrasounds that bats emit and convert it into ranges that humans can hear. So um, this meter ranges from up to 136 down to 9.5. So to start when looking for bats, set the frequency to around 45 kilohertz. Uh, many bats in Ontario will be around this range. The Eastern Pipstrel uh, will be around 45, and that's one of the most common bats. So you can put it around 45 and then change the range, move it up and down around 10 above, 10 lower, and listen for your bat sounds like the clicking. And um, if you're looking for a certain species, set it to the frequency that you're looking for. The bigger bats, like the big brown bat, can be as low as 20, and the little brown bat up to 80. So put it to where what species you're looking for. When looking for a particular species, just set the control to the appropriate frequency and scan the area by pointing in different directions um, where you see the bat. The ultrasound is very directional and the microphone is much more sensitive to head-on signals than signals from either side. Once a bat is detected, you can fine-tune the frequency just by moving it up and down just a little bit, and it will become more clear. To test that your bat meter is working, you can test with different things that make ultrasound, such as rubbing your fingers together, or dropping a paper clip or other methods of creating ultrasound. Thanks for watching our video on how to use a bat meter. If you need any more information, feel free to email us or stop by the lab at the University of Waterloo.